Alright, let's do that, shall we? This guy's quite interesting. He, of course, has a more powerful version. But, as you are able to see, we are going to be taking on each head individually. And each head has its own element. So, yeah. We're going to try and... I couldn't remember the order of that. Can we hit it? Okay, we can hit it from this distance. Good to know. Okay, so, alright. I'm starting to remember a little bit more about this boss now. So we're going to be able to get a lot of hit chains up here. So this boss is going to take a little bit of time. I guess it's nicer to, just, to do this when we don't have a ridiculously overpowered weapon, so I don't know why I was trying to get the strongest out of those three weapons that we could possibly get for this boss fight, because it's definitely not needed. But I just kind of wanted to do it for some reason. We'll, tr we'll try Light Fantastic here. Hopefully it works alright with this weapon. I don't really want to use the Ice Master Stroke on the Ice Head. That would be very bizarre. Alright, nearly bloody threw my shoulder out again, but anyway. That did basically the same amount of damage that that Master Stroke would have done with the sword that the Master Stroke was with, so that worked out quite well. Well, that's good to know then. So now we move off to the fire head. And this is going to be very useful to us, so we'll... Ooh, that'll be good. Have we already taken out that head? That was sadly quick. Oh no, we haven't taken it out yet. I thought we did. I was going to have a laugh. Yeah, I know I have a shield. Chill out. So yeah, I'm pretty sure you end up getting a pretty shit score if you don't get a good hit chain here. I don't know what I'm doing now, I'm just... I've lost it. <laughs> oh yeah, also, if you haven't already noticed, we have Sizzle here. This is a new spell that Anlas learnt when we were going through Seek Our Sea Cove. So I just thought I'd mention that. Let's keep on doing this here. Alright, so that's another head down. And then there's going to be a final head. But, I don't think that's the end of the boss fight. I think we end up fighting all three heads once we kill this middle one here. Kill it, I say. Here we have to... Okay, thank you for the Magni Shield. That's very useful to us. Do that there. And just before he does that, we'll use the Light Fantastic. Oh, I was going to use the Ice one to demonstrate it, but I would imagine that this is going to do more damage anyway. Let's do that there. Light Fantastic. Slash three times. Ooh, so that didn't end up doing that. Anyway, have we had our hit chain interrupted? Because I feel like we should have it longer at this point. Also, we need to just keep on attacking him there, and then that will exit out of that little attack that Valgert was doing to us there. Because if we do get hit by that, it's a bit of a big problem. Let's just go here. Oh, I'll, I'll be back in a moment, guys. Actually, I'll, I'll attack us out of this first, and then I'll be right back. Because I need to go and do something. Um, yeah, I'll see you in a moment. Sorry about that, guys. I had to go and deal with something. And I also needed to have some lunch, so... Yeah, I was quite hungry. Okay, we're about to get another full Master Stroke gauge, and while I did say previously it's no fun killing an enemy with a Master Stroke, <laughs> well, I lied. That was some kind of weird excuse. I want to do it now. Just managed to get full power there. <clears throat> and that's going to be the end of this boss. So, yeah, so long, Valgert. Or not. <laughs> Yeah, so that's not it. There is more. I told you it wasn't an excuse. I wasn't killing you with the Master Stroke. <laughs> it 
You see, for a lot of people, I think this boss is just very, very intimidating because, you know, it's just... You spend so much time trying to kill him there and then it's like, oh yeah, full health. <laughs> it's quite funny. But I've never really had a huge problem with him, at least not to my memory, so... Yeah, anyway. Should be able to kill him soon. Shouldn't take too long, I don't think. Try and keep my focal point a little bit more centered there. Oh, that's an interesting little thing going on there. Now, more like this. Oh, we need to shield that. The shield has returned to its normal size there. We'll probably use Magma Shield for this one, if it can possibly be cast in time. Yes. Didn't manage to shield all of that because we did have our shield rather injured there. Just attack ourselves through this one here. Fortunately, that thrust didn't end up thrusting in a direction that didn't make contact with the dragon because we hadn't set a focal point. So that could have been rather worrying there. Alright, so <laughs> we have quite a high uh, critical thing. What, what do you call that again? What am I. I can't think of what I'm saying right now. Uh, we're gonna mid heal. What? Oh, you're out of stuff. No problemo. I have plenty to use. <laughs> I'm speaking in... It's like I'm in a drug call or something. Like, I just... I'm not speaking complete sentences. It's terrible. But anyway, um... Yeah, let's continue attacking here. Alright, do that. Oh, we need a shield here now. Not doing too well with this, am I? Not at all is the answer to that. Let's use our Light Fantastic once again. <clears throat> Get his health down a little bit more. Draw a figure of eight. That was pretty fast. I'm starting to get better and better. <laughs> Alright, that took his health down considerably. Now he is... Halfway through his health, so now he's gone to the next level of difficulty, I suppose. It's not really that much difficult. Much more difficult, sorry, if I could possibly speak legitimate English. I'm trying to... to God, I suck. So I think he mid-healed me there, which is reasonable. So when he heals me again there, that's going to get me close to full. Okay, I'll need to avoid that there. I need to use a Replenish Shield Powder, because this is pissing me off. Because I should be able to shield all of this a lot easier than what's happening right now. So now we're at 300 hits. Trying to get good timing here. Ooh, that's... What does that mean? Does that shoot him much there? Does that heal him? I think that was just healing him. I couldn't have made that up. I think that's what was happening there. Oh, that's terrible. I'm not impressed with that. Um, let's give him some more magic. Alright, let's get our Master Stroke going again. So imagine if you weren't that good at this game. I mean, I'm not saying that I'm incredible, but some people are really shit at games. Imagine how difficult this would be for them to go through. There are some really painful bosses, I think, for those people. Alright, so let's keep attacking this guy here, get our hit combo up. Oh, that's not good, actually. I kind of wanted to get Magna Shield there. Is that... Oh, we sort of managed to get that in time. Generally, you just need to make sure that you're attacking the entire time. If you are attacking the entire time, you're not going to get hit by that tail attack. Basically, what he does is he grips you in his tail and eats you, I guess. That's my memory of it anyway. It's been a long time since I've allowed it to happen, so... Yeah. God, stop this thing. Oh, I totally missed that. Unacceptable. Hopefully we can get up to 500 hits, that would be kind of cool if we could do that. 
if I wanted to, I could end this now with the Master Stroke. Oh, well, we don't need to do that. We can just go and finish it now. We get a few more hits off before his death here. And then that's the end. We obtained a lucky bag. That is the end of Valgert. <clears throat> Alright, let's see how we did. Didn't actually do that well, surprisingly. As you can see, a longest hit chain of 473 is considered pretty normal for this boss fight, so... Yeah. Our accuracy... Like, accuracy of 99% was not even considered that great. At all. We got some Orichalcum there, and Yggdrasil Du, which is quite good. Guard accuracy was pretty atrocious, and I do agree, that was quite bad. Monsters vanquish, vanquished, one of one. I think we did quite alright, to be honest. I don't know why we didn't do a little bit better there. Uh, that's an Orichalcum stick. We can actually upgrade that as a weapon. I don't believe we can use it as a weapon at the moment, but it is upgradable, and we can create a weapon out of that. And I think it's I think it's the dragon something. I don't know. I probably will if I want to farm you for Orichalcum. So anyway, as you can see, we have three more mirrors open to us. Three new mirrors mysteriously appear. Oh, wow. And those three mirrors are going to present quite a problem to us. They are very difficult. We're going to definitely want to be on the ball for those. So anyway, I've got no idea what's going on with these videos right now. I've done so much off-camera stuff that I just can't even... I don't even know what we're doing right now. So, yeah, I don't know what video this is. I haven't a clue. So I'm going to have to wait until the editing process to find that out. We have another Orichalcum piece here. Um, let's have a look at our Orichalcum stick. You can actually use it as a weapon, funnily enough. But... Um, for the moment, I want to see what we can do with that. <clears throat> I think, no, we need four of whatever that question mark stuff is for the Metal King Sword. I was pretty sure that the question mark stuff was Orichalcum, but I guess not. I'll show you because I'm pretty sure it was like question mark, question mark, question mark for upgrading from the Aurora Blade. And that has been replaced with Orichalcum, but it seems that the question marks have not been replaced by Orichalcum for the Metal King Sword, so it means that it is another unknown thing, which is very bizarre. I don't really understand what's happening there. Let's have another look, shall we? Yeah, yeah, temper and materials. Yeah, see, look, we still don't know what this is, and we don't have any of it. We have two at Orichalcum at the moment, so it's very strange. Ah, yeah, there we go. Dragon Warrior's Sword. I thought it was something relating to the dragon. Alright. And whatever this is, I don't know what this is. I don't know how we get that. I can't remember. If only I could rem remember what that is, I mean, that would be nice to know. Yeah, the Dragon Warrior's Sword is pretty good, but... There's just something... I'm pretty sure Zenithian's Sword is just better. In the end, somehow. At the very least, it is better against um, the very final boss, so... Yeah, I'm not sure. As you can see, there are so many really powerful weapons that we can get here. Um, anyway. Yeah, that's the max upgrade for that particular weapon, but we're going to turn that into the Zenithian Blade soon. But what we need is... Gold. <laughs> that's what we need. So, we're going to have to do a lot more upgrading, or a, a lot more fighting of enemies before we can get that. We can probably just keep on fighting the three-headed dragon there, Valgert, to get some gold. I don't know how much we had before we fought him, I didn't really keep track, but... It would be pretty cool to farm some Orichalcum that way anyway, so... Yeah, we'll give that a try, I think. But, I think I'm going to stop recording for now, because I've recorded so much today. At the start of today, I hadn't even gone to the Sea of Lava, and... In this one single day, I've ended up finishing all of that, and I've done almost half of the stuff that we've done 
in what's its face, the Cave of Mirrors or whatever you call that. So, yeah, I have been very busy today, <laughs> for sure. Let's just have a look at what we've got here with our character. We have very good armor here. I was not expecting to get this auroral armor. Um, hero shield, I don't know if we can get a better shield than this before getting the Platinum Shield, but I'm not really counting on getting the Platinum Shield anytime soon. Uh, oh yeah, that's right, increase the slashing power by 10%. Let's do that, shall we? That would be better. We got that a while ago. I'm surprised it took me that long to actually finally equip it. So our strongest weapon at the moment is Wrath of Boreas, which we have right here, so I guess we'll keep with that for now. But that's not going to remain for too long. Because I want to farm some gold. And then I will get the Zenithian Blade. Which is a very good weapon to have. So anyway, let us go into the church and save. And yeah, anyway. <laughs> God, this has been such such a recording. Such a recording. But anyway, uh, yes, blah blah blah, do your religious talk, I don't care. You've got a devil's pitchfork for your necklace. Um, but anyway, yes, let us overwrite that adventure log. Do, 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 do. Alright, that's all there is to say there. Um, anyway, so once again, thank you everyone for watching. I hope you join me again for the next part of Let's Play Dragon Quest Swords. I haven't a clue what part you're watching right now, but I'm sure that you can consult the title of this video and find out for yourself if you do have half a brain in your skull. But anyway, I do not know because I do not know the future. So, yeah, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah, I will see you in the next video, hopefully, if you do choose to stick around. Um, once again, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you when I see you. Catch you later.